internet last week was humming with photos leaked by Lockheed Martin that may indicate what could be intended for a new NGAD stealth fighter design. Should we be excited? Or is this simply a promotional image after all with little glean from it? Late last week, Lockheed Martin revealed a new rendering of its LNXT Next Generation Strategic Tanker that includes a depiction of what might be America's newest stealth fighter, which is currently being built within the Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, NGAD. It's impossible to determine whether the tailless, crude fighter represented in the latest render is supposed to reflect the genuine fighter being developed within the NGAD program. But the jet does bear a number of design traits that we've come to expect from the Air Force's future air superiority fighter. What does this new Lockheed Martin render show? This new advertising image is purported to portray Lockheed Martin's LNXT aerial refueling tanker, which is, in fact, a modified iteration of the Airbus A330 Multi-Role Tanker Transport, or MRTT. This tanker program proposes to give an economical interim platform for the Air Force to acquire once manufacturing, concludes on the KC-46 of Pegasus, but before the manufacture of an as-yet undefined tanker of the future. But while the Airbus-based tanker has previously been represented by refueling Lockheed Martin F-35s and F-22s, the latest renders reveal a sleek new fighter that fits the basic description of what many have come to expect the Air Force's NGAD fighter to look like. The photos show a twin-engine fighter with no tail portion and a delta-wing configuration. As we've mentioned multiple times in the past, these are all things we've come to expect out of the NGAD fighter based on a number of official renders, Air Force documents, and statements from defense officials. Of course, it's crucial to note that, to date, just what the NGAD fighter will genuinely look like remains a mystery to the general public. What can we infer about the NGAD fighter from these images? While there's no way to be positive that these photographs actually do portray America's next air superiority fighter, the aircraft pictured is close enough to earlier NGAD renders to raise a few suspicions. Chief among the similarities is the lack of a defined tail section, which we've postulated before could suggest these new fighters could be the first of their kind to not only prevent detection against high-frequency targeting radar arrays, but also lower frequency early warning radars that have previously been able to spot stealth fighters, even if they haven't been able to lead a weapon to them. The lack of vertical tail surfaces could indicate these new fighters aren't actually fighters as we've come to perceive them. Because the NGAD is planned to fly in conjunction with a constellation of low observable drones, there's reason to suppose America's next air superiority aircraft may not be as aerobatic as the world's now top dogfighter, the F-22 Raptor. Instead, it may favor low observability, situational awareness, and long-range battles above getting up and personal with enemy jets. Over the past few decades, there has been a growing belief within the American military structure that the days of aerobatic dogfighting at close quarters have come to an end, thanks to enhanced sensors and very powerful long-range air-to-air weapon weapons. Whether or not this is accurate is open to a great lot of discussion, but there's reason to assume the Air Force may embrace this line of thinking for the NGAD program. America's new fighter could actually be more of a mothership, tasking highly adept drone wingmen with varied tasks and building upon the F-35's quarterback-in-the-sky mindset, rather than the F-22's dogfighting superiority. A recent report from the Congressional Research Service notably left room for this interpretation of the NGAD fighter's mission. For example, a heavier aircraft the size of a B-21 may not maneuver like a fighter, but that large an aircraft carrying a directed energy weapon, with several engines providing sufficient electrical power for that weapon, might ensure that no opponent flies in a large section of airspace. That is air dominance. The paper adds. A fact, it's feasible that despite lacking a tail portion, the NGAD may still offer a high degree of maneuverability. The F-22 Raptor's Northrop counterpart, the YF-23, 
did not come with a typical tail section or thrust vector control, but was believed to give a virtually equivalent aerobatic performance to the F-22. As we've hypothesized in the past, new technologies like active flow control might also make the jet fairly nimble, even without traditional control surfaces.